bear the urges and temptations of hunger and renew your connection with God. During the holy month of Ramadan, Muslims abstain from eating and drinking from sunrise to sunset. For Muhataram, the occasion provides a powerful exercise in his devotion to God. My father served as an imam at a local mosque for 30 years, and I learned the basics of fasting from him at a very young age. I think fasting is in fact a test of endurance. Without food and drinks, you need to work out on your own to cope with it. You have to learn how to survive and get through difficulties. During Ramadan, there are more people choosing to pray at mosques than on normal days. The spiritual discipline allows them to curb natural thoughts and emotions like jealousy and anger. This is one of the 20,000 mosques in Xinjiang. Devoted Muslims come here every day and pray for five times facing the direction of Mecca. During Ramadan, they extend the last prayer from 10 minutes to 2 hours. Along with the fasting, it's intended to get closer to God and remind them of the suffering of those less fortunate. Usually it's compulsory for Muslims to start fasting when they reach puberty. Ramadan is an important event of the year for Islamic followers, but there are exceptions like those with illnesses during pregnancy and with bread feeding demands. Only people in those circumstances do not have to fast. The government at all levels here has safeguarded lawful religious activities and protects people's religious choices. Fasting starts with a meal before sunrise and then after 16 hours of abstinence comes another. Muhataram says it's a moment to reflect on God's generosity, but that's not enough. We have everything available to us now, like clothing, food, drinks and housing. But we still need to pursue social harmony and peace. Without that, we can never feel the real happiness of life. There are about 20 million Muslims in China, half of them are in Xinjiang. As a religious practice, they are among the world's 1.6 billion Muslims observing the holy month. Meng Qingsheng, CGTN, Urumqi, Xinjiang.